What's up, man? It's JK. I got another review for you. Uh, before we get into the review, I'm going to touch base on a couple things. Uh, I don't endorse, promote. I don't sell. I don't promote the sale and uh, or the purchase of UAs, replicas, fakes. You can't get them from me. I don't supply them and I don't give links. So I just show you what I find and some of the qualities that are out there. You know, for you can kind of base your judgment if you do decide to uh, find this stuff on your own. So, you know, it's all in your hands, man. It's your opinion. So, it's just my opinion. But uh, before I do get into the review, I was going to let you know, man. Y'all take a look at that uh, uh, giveaway video I got out there. I don't know if you've seen it or not. I got two pairs of shoes up for grabs. And that uh, video, the giveaway is going to end on the 22nd. I'm going to do the winners on the 23rd. And... So, you know, check it out, man. It's in my, uh, it's on my channel. Go check it out. I got a couple pairs of shoes on there to pick from. But, uh, furthermore, man, we go ahead and get into these shoes. This is actually a shoe that, uh, over my lifetime, man, I ain't really liked the silhouette. But I also ain't had it in my hand. I've seen a couple pairs of these. Not this exact colorway. But I've seen a couple pairs, man. And I ain't never really cared for them. But, uh, I went ahead and ordered a pair anyways. Just to see them in my hands, and to be honest, I already looked at them, and uh, that's pretty fire shoes, man. But uh, let me go ahead and get into it, man. Let me show you what I got today. Show you what we got. Get this camera angle going for you. <clears throat> All right. Start off with the box. No, there's a glare there. You should be able to see it though. I got these in a twelve. All right, Air Jordan 3 Retro, black cement gray. Uh, retail price, or suggested retail is $240. Whoo, pretty penny, man. And the box don't look bad. Uh, it's got a couple of mess up spots, you know. Nothing too serious, man. The elephant print's pretty good on the box. Got your jump man on the front. And that's pretty much it, man. Go ahead and help her up. See what we got. Uh, got one little marking on the inside of the box. But all right, this is the first time I got one of these for many of the shoes I've ordered. I actually got a card in this one. I know a lot of people get them, but uh, I hadn't got one myself. But you got your little card that comes in there. All right, starters. You got your uh. The elephant print paper. See if y'all can see that. Got the little elephant print on there. I'm sure y'all know what shoes these are. If you don't, you don't really mess with shoes. Uh, <laughs> I'm just messing. But anyways, man, I'm gonna pull them out the box. Before I, before I set them up on the table, let me show you the rest of the box. I did get the little keychain, hang tag, and as far as the inside, nothing else. So, besides the keys, keychain and the card, that's it. Let's go ahead and get into these. I ain't gonna lie, man. Once I seen them, I liked them. And they made these things with some really good leather, man. So, and it's actually got the little indentions like it's supposed to have on the elephant print right there. Do y'all like this silhouette? I mean, are y'all not a big fan of it? I know for some people, man, this is their pride and joy. Which I kind of see why. I mean, these are nice shoes, man. They're heavy. They're sturdy shoes. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. That's your little 360 view. Each one come with your little cardboard shoe tree. Standard, I guess. The only downfall, man, is how long. Look at these shoestrings. I don't know if y'all can get an idea, but these things are huge, man. For starters, man, I'm going to start with the tongue because this tongue, even the leather on this tongue, man, is just nice. It feels good, man. It's real thick. It's real nice, man. Uh, all your stitching and your holes, you know, Everything looks right to me. Your cut out right here. 
uh, this piece coming off. You know, everything looks pretty decent from what I could tell you. White inside on the air bubble right there. The only thing that I could tell was off right off when I first pulled them out was uh, the paint, man, on the back. The paint's not that great. Uh, it's kind of smeared. But, I mean, you can touch that up. That ain't no big deal, man. For real. Get a little Angelus paint and touch that right up. But uh, one of the craziest things is, man, I ain't ever got a shoe and it had that glue smell that everybody talks about. But these right here, man, you can smell them as soon as I open the package up. You can smell that glue. I mean, it's real strong. Uh, go ahead and show you that tag right there. Come on, focus in. There it goes. What years on this? 2017. Let's see if I can pull the insole out. The insoles don't come out. But anyways, you got uh, just got the thick padding right here. I mean, you can see how thick that is, man. You got your Nike Air in the inside with the red insole. And the tongue, the back tab right here. To my, from what I've seen, man, that right there is right. Uh, the material they used right here is real nice. Overall, man, like I said, this is a real nice shoe. I mean, you can see that leather, man. Of course, it's tumbled leather. But you can see how soft that leather is right there. For real. I mean, it helps when you step up. And you move away from them triple-A shoes, man. And, uh, jump man looks straight. No booty crack. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. But, like I said, man, it, it pays off. When you step up and you move up from them triple-A's and stop. I know they cheat, man. And, you know, they're easy to go with. But once you step up, man, you really ain't wasting your money because... This, this is worth it, man. This is worth it, for real. Like I said, the really only downfall is the smell and that little bit of stuff on the... Let's see, this one ain't as bad on the back. The little bit of paint that was smeared on that other one, you know. Really the only downfall is, from what I can tell. Now, if y'all spot something else, man, let me know, you know, down in the comments. And uh, don't forget, go check that video out, man. I'm giving a pair of shoes away, so... You ain't got to do but three simple things, man. Subscribe, like the video, and comment which shoe you want and where you watching from. So, you know, it ain't too bad. Get you a pair of shoes. Can't beat it. My bad. Uh, anyways, man. That's what I got. That's what I'm working with. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you like them. Let me know if this right here is like uh, on up there on the scale for you. You know, for something you go with. Oh, yeah, that little space right there. Let me know if it's supposed I think it's supposed to be... That looks a little off right there now that I'm looking at it. I believe it's supposed to be more of a little gap, and it's kind of going sideways, or maybe it's the way I'm holding it, but I believe there's supposed to be a little gap right there. But overall, man, well worth the money. So check that video out, man. Let me know what y'all think. You know, leave that little comment, like the video, subscribe. Uh, if not, it's all good either way, man. Either way, y'all come back and see what I got next. And, uh, I got another one right back here. And then, uh, my little girl's got a pair. I'm gonna show them and see what y'all think. But, uh, hey, right, man, y'all keep it easy. Keep it real. And I'm gonna catch you next time, man. Peace.